hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today we are going to discuss about how you can make this kind of mesh model for performing the cylindrical cup drawing test so in this tutorial mainly focused on how you can make this mesh model and in my upcoming tutorial i will explain how you can make the simulation so let's see how you can make this mesh model in inside ls diana for this first you have to open the geometrical file in my case i already made the 2d geometry from the solidworks software so first we have to open that software and then upload the file which we already created in solidworks for that you have to go to the import option and select the igs file format because i saved my geometry as a igs file so i just uploaded here as you can see here it asks like what kind of unit you have but it's already in millimeter so you just select specify unit in millimeter and then just click ok so now we got all the geometry inside the workspace as you can see here we have a four parts in this model so we will see how you can mesh the model one by one so for my convenience i'm just going to mesh the punch part first then i will mesh other models so for that what you have to do you can see here the right hand side there is a mesh tool option from there you can select n line measure tool as our part has a two section the one section notice to have four lines and the another one is noticed to have three lines so first let's start with the four lines mesh for that you have to select four lines shell option from there you can see n number of elements that means number of elements in this section so n1 n2 n3 and n4 so if you select any line here you can notice there are 10 division that means the line will be meshed with the 10 elements and if you select line 2 line 3 and line 4 the all lines will have the same number of division so that the total will be like meshed with the equal number of elements but if you want to increase the number of elements in any direction like in this vertical direction or in this horizontal direction you have to increase the number of divisions here or you can increase here also so you have a two options to increase the number of divisions once you are done you can simply click mesh so if you click the mesh it option there are two options available the one is accept the mesh as it is or you can reject the mesh if you reject the mesh the mesh will be gone and you can again do the same process but before accept if you want to do any modification that means if you want to increase the number of meshes in any direction you can simply increase and then you can give accept before that you have to give mesh it then you can give accept option so now you missed your part so for other section we are going to choose three lines cell option then here you can choose three lines but make sure that this line and the previous line has the same number of elements otherwise there will be no nodal connectivity because as you can see here there is another node in this section but if you increase this one more than 12 then there is no nodal connectivity so make sure that you have same number of division otherwise you will not get proper nodal connectivity while you are performing the simulation this two part might experience like um, how can you say it will separate while you performing the simulation but in these two lines there is no problem you can either increase the number of elements or you can reduce so for that i'm just keeping 15 here and just click mesh it and then it will be okay so i chose the wrong option so i have to click three line cell option then if you click ok then everything is done just click accept so if you unselect this option you can see here there is a two uh, mesh parts available now what i'm going to do here i don't like this section with unstructured mesh so i'm going to make one complete 2d mesh model with the structured mesh for that you can use one more options you can see here there is element generation option so you just click 
this two and you have to select shell from here then i'm going to select edge spin so edge spin means you can rotate this whole line along with the nodes in a 360 degree in any direction but for us we need with respect to y direction so i'm going to choose the y direction then i'm going to give n number of segments in this 360 degree so here we gave 20 so i'm going to give 4 into 20 like around 18 segments i'm going to give then i have to select the edge so for that i can go and choose any one place but as you can see here in this case i have to select one by one but if you want to do like continuously without you know wasting your time you have to select propagate and adapt element here you have to increase angle to 30 degree and if you select this one it will work you can see the whole uh, elements in this direction is already selected you can do the similar thing here now if you do the if you do the create option then it will automatically select and it will perform the spinning along the edge in 360 degree and you will get the complete mesh model so now you can see we have a perfect structured mesh in all the places so now we don't need to worry about the old mesh you can just simply go here and then you can delete just accept okay and you can give this as a part 81 just name it as a punch that's it it's done so now you have a perfect punch meshed part which you can use it for the simulation